It's engine time. Okay, so we're going to make some progress on the um, the motor now. Uh, just to give you an overview of what I actually got here, this the actual gearbox is from an LS Leyland Mini. So I don't know the exact date of that. Um, I've just based that on what I've looked up on the internet based on the numbers are on there. Um, I don't really know what the actual internal gearage is like. Um, the previous owner didn't actually rebuild this, the owner before him, so it's been passed on. Like I'm the third person working on this project now. So the um, so this this type of gearbox is meant to be. I don't, I don't I haven't done a huge amount of research, but it's um, meant to be um, four-speed synchro. Um, the ratios. Oh, that's yeah. I'm, well, I don't know until we have a good look at it. Um, I'm not intending on pulling it apart. Leave it at this stage. Uh, the actual block is from a Morris 1100, and then that's just like a standard Morris block. It's not a Cooper S block. Um, the internals have all been um, rebuilt on that. So there's new pistons in there. And you can see just in there, they're nice and clean at the top. Uh, just have a look at some of the features. I'll just rotate it a bit so we can see. Um, so this actually has a um, fuel pump attached to it that runs off the cam shaft. Uh, but I've got the um, internal or the external um, electric pump that comes off the fuel tanks anyway so I have a blanking plate for that but in any other car or most oh, like a 90s car up to 90s uh, you generally had a fuel pump in the tank and you also had one on the actual engine block too so I don't think I need both but that's something I need to just do a bit of clarification I know the um um, the Mark 1 Cooper S's on their engine blocks didn't have another pump here. Um, the one and the fuel, t the one coming from the fuel tanks, the electric fuel pump was sufficient enough. Uh, the difference on here you'll notice compared to an original Cooper S block, Cooper S block had these removable panels so you can inspect the valve rods. Uh, this one doesn't. Um, also, you'll, yeah, you, with the gearbox too, you'll notice the um, standard different um, CV joints so I've still got to get bearings for those to fix in there but we'll worry about that later uh, the other thing I might change to is the water pump so this one doesn't have the extra the extra flow that runs from the actual cylinder head to here the bypass so I need to investigate whether that should have it there a lot of people seem to just put a hole into the thermostat and that seems to work so maybe I'll try that, I don't know. Uh, so that's it for the block. Um, need to get the clutch um, the clutch cylinder as well and also yeah so that's, that's got to get sorted too. I have got a distributor I've got a new distributor to go in there and also a new starter motor too. Okay, so I'll take you over to the bench because that's where we've got the um, cylinder head. So this cylinder head is a 1275 and it's the based on the numbers off the internet, it's, it's what they call the smog head. I'll show you why. So it originally these cylinder heads had these extra pipes in here so you can see where these screws are to block these holes off uh, there was some additional pipe work in there to reduce emissions uh, I'm not exactly sure about the actual workings of that but that's they've been sealed up to bypass all of that because uh, apparently it wasn't that effective anyway it was just it do doesn't improve efficiency I don't know obviously there might have been some small advantage at the tailpipe um, it's likely that this was actually imported from overseas because it's not something that was, I don't think it was really common in Australia, but I could be wrong. Yeah. So the job now is to give this um, head a bit of a clean up. 
Uh, I'll just spin it back around. Uh, can have a look at the um, the valves. So I want to take the valves out and clean them up, regrind all the seats. Uh, that surface needs to clean up to get all that sorted. So that's the next job. So uh, I don't know which bit I'm going to tackle first. I don't even know if this head's any good. So once I get it, pull it apart, have a good look at it, and just see. Um, how good or bad it is. Alright, I'll leave it there for now.
Okay, so that's all um, put back together now. Um, I'll um, bolt this down. I'm still in the process of just like trying to get a um, second-hand heater unit. Um, but for now, that's going to have a blanking plate fitted. Uh, water sensor has to go. Water temperature sensor has to go on still. And also the bypass. I'm going to fit that. I've got the new um, connection hose to go on to there. So that'll get done a bit later. Uh, that, of course, will get bolted down later to the thermostat. Uh, what else on there? Yeah, just the bolt that came I ordered to fit there doesn't actually fit in there and it's this it was meant to be a the inner shorter size but they actually gave me a long one but the actual thread is different so I'm guessing it's for a newer mini maybe a rover mini if what they've sent me so I've gone to another supplier and uh, I'm gonna order one of those it's on the list of stuff to order all right so that's the head um, the rocker cover I haven't decided which one to go with yet um, but I'll get them both cleaned up and then just see how they look. All right, so that's it for the um, the valves for now. Uh, the actual rockers, I've got them. They're all brand new. They'll get bolted on once all this gets put back together. I won't. Don't need to put them on right now. Okay. Uh, I'll just quickly show you a few other things which I've done on the motor. I've added the. Um, the oil filter holder. So this is a newer one where you can have the screw-in oil filter rather than the older sort. I just thought it's um, for convenience. It's I'd rather have that. Uh, fitted another pipeline too because the one I had was all bent. This one's second-hand, so I've cleaned it up a bit and just installed that. Okay, all right. I'll leave it there. Um, clean those up and then we'll see how they look. So I'll leave it there. Thanks for watching my videos.